seems to be a 50-50 split between the people that want um, longer videos and the people that want shorter videos. So for the people that want shorter videos, your timestamps are still in the description. Feel free to skip around the video as you please. But for the people who want the longer videos, uh, stick around. We'll see what we can get today. So, quick explanation, Waymo One vehicles carrying passengers have been running with safety drivers for the last few days because of rain conditions. Just to be safe, they were still running like that the day I filmed this. So before anyone at Waymo thinks I'm being dumb, well, too late, rider support already thinks I am, but I just want to explain myself here. When it comes to unlocking the doors, I'm aware that the main way is for the car to detect the rider's phone via Bluetooth. You can see it will show this little padlock icon in the app. However, my belief is that for current rides with safety drivers during the pandemic, the safety driver has to manually unlock the doors for you once they confirm you're wearing a mask. Now, the reason I say this is because, one, that padlock icon did not show up in the app for this ride or any of the rides with safety drivers, and two, while filming the rain disengagement videos in the early hours of the morning on December 10th of last year, I received a notification from the Waymo app that said this very thing, something along the lines of, the safety driver won't unlock the doors until they see you're wearing a mask. I regret not screenshotting that, but if I see it again, I will. So what's happening here is that I've approached the car and pushed the button to open the door several times. She won't unlock the doors. Thinking the safety driver just didn't see that I was wearing a mask, I leaned over, looked through the passenger side window, and made direct eye contact with her. I also continued pulling the door handle, quite loudly mind you, so at this point anyone who cared would be able to tell what's going on and just unlock the doors. This is kinda stupid, but my theory is that she didn't want to let me in because she didn't want to take passengers at the time, and hoped that the 6 minute boarding deadline would pass and the car would leave without me. Now obviously I wanted to get where I was going on time, so I used the callback feature in the Waymo app to have rider support call my personal phone, at which point, within a few minutes, they were able to pop open the door remotely for me. Alright, with all that out of the way, I hope you enjoy the video. Heading to bottom right fully driverless. Please make sure your seatbelt is fastened. For any questions, press the help button to speak with a rider support agent. Our team is working to get you moving. Please remain in the car with your seat belt fastened. A rider support agent will call shortly to answer any questions. Your car is good to go. About here is where I notice how extremely dirty this plexiglass screen is and try to wipe it off with my jacket sleeve, but uh, as you can see it doesn't work at all, so we're just doomed to have a dirty video this time, sorry about that. And as a result, because the camera was focusing on the, um, was focusing on the, the dirt or dust or what, whatever the heck that is, uh, I had to use the manual focus ring to try and make it manually focus on the safety driver screen there, so you'll just have to bear with me here for a sec on that as well. I'd also like to apologize for the, uh, video quality here. I had it set to 1080p 60 uh, but that does not look like 1080p at all to my eye, so I don't know what happened. But my better camera is well, is the only one with optical zoom, so I had that zoomed in on the safety driver screen. So, yeah, again, bear with me here, sorry. <laughs> So you can see those red boxes there on the left, and I'm guessing that means uh, even if the right two lanes were blocked, we couldn't force it to accidentally go onto the 101 freeway there. Uh, it just would refuse to enter, probably, is my, is my best guess.
left lane change. So as we go along here, I'm starting to see more and more of those red uh, off-limit boxes. So I think this might have a part in explaining why it takes such funky routes. 
because you'd think if it gets stuck somewhere, then they'll just take away that that spot. They'll say, no, the car can't go there anymore. And I've seen a demonstration of that with the three-point turn spots in that neighborhood. And so I'm thinking if they slowly build up a, like a, a do not enter, like a, a bunch of do not enter spots, at that point, you kind of just have to route around them. And so to the untrained eye, it would look very strange. So that's that's my new theory on why it, it why it, and why it really likes to take specific routes sometimes. I I I don't, I don't really know honestly. Yeah, like like right here on the left side. That that's just one whole road that's just completely blocked off. I've wow. Okay. Alright, so what you're about to see is a disengagement during this upcoming unprotected left turn. I posted this clip to Reddit, thread link in the description if you want to dive in, and there's plenty of opinions flying around in the comments, but two people who I know for sure are in the industry and experienced around autonomous vehicles commented, and their opinion is that the safety driver disengaged, not the car. The whole thing is super interesting and I recommend you read it by pausing here, but that's basically what they said. Manual. By the way, a safety driver told me that this blue check mark on the dash means that it's ready to re engage. Auto driving. Right lane change. Right lane change. Right lane change.
arriving shortly at bottom right fully driverless. Please keep your seatbelt fastened until we reach your destination and remember to take all your belongings. marked off sections are my fault. <laughs> it kept getting stuck on the three-point turn. That's okay. Uh, yay. Thank you. We've arrived. Please check your surroundings before exiting the vehicle and remember to close the doors after you exit.